Hello YouTube hearts, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to new subscribers on my channel. Are you still watching the Vogue? Then don't forget to subscribe. This Vogue is all about cool, the places to visit and the resort stay, food joints, shopping etc. Let's get started. We started our journey at night one from Bengaluru and reached cool early in the morning by 7. Woke up immersed scenery beauty of coffee plantation in Kurk, a sight that shows to delight your senses. Kurg is officially known as Kodugu. It is often dubbed as Kodaland of India. It is one of the most popular and easy accessible hill station in South India, offering a blend of stunning landscape and rich history. Aroma of coffee and spices and scenery of waterfalls make Kurg as a captivating destination. As soon as we reach Kurg, we visited Dubari Elephant Camp. Most Kurg packages include to visit the Elephant Camp in Dubari, which is counted as one of the most unique places to visit in Kurg. You can observe elephants bathing, eating and engaging with other activities. These elephants are cared by elephant trainers. A well-qualified naturalist will walk you through elephant history. Other than watching elephants, you can help them play, bathe and feed these friendly creatures. I tell you worth of the walk and you will have an amazing experience touching elephants. After visiting Dubari Elephant Camp, we wanted to visit Nizargadama Exotic Bird Park which wasn't open so we headed towards the resort stay which is S Ready Homestay. We were really excited and enjoyed looking at the doom room which was in doom shape. And it was very close to nature with river attached to. Value for money and they had excellent food too. This homestay has 20 plus amenities like kitchen, bonfire, caretaker, luggage storer, safe and security, first aid service too, housekeeping etc. We took a little time to get refreshed and started travelling towards the Golden Temple in Kurg. Kurg, the land of Kaveri, it is also home to the Buddha. A bit of Tibetan culture and learn about monastery, the Golden Temple in Kurg. Just before you enter Kushal Nagar, the hill echo with chants, a colourful flag swags in gentle breeze. The temple is given name of Padma Sambhava Buddhist Vihara, which is written on the main door of the temple in English and Kannada. A wide archway led to a beautiful garden with a neat lawn on either side. The gleaming gold and bright blue structure of the entrance has a huge arch with small statues. The statues is considered to be messengers of Buddha. Just past the entrance is a large ornate bell which is engraved with letters. The pathway leads to the fountain and the entrance of temple. Every inch of walls is covered with vibrant traditional Tibetan paintings. The essence of Buddhism is not to do evil, do good deeds to purify the mind, make your cool trip a beautiful experience with bit of Tibetan culture and Buddhism in Golden Temple. Record. The Golden Temple opens by 7 a.m. and closes Record. by 7 p.m. in the evening. The place is Record. all about prayers and meditation. Visitors should keep in mind before entering the temple. The temple has requested the visitors to maintain silence in the premises.
Essi Reddy homestay is encompassed with lush of green western guards a hushed backdrop in cool Homestay invites guests to spend quality time with your loved ones. The warm-up chilly nights with cozy bonfire hosted by the property. The room interiors equipped with cozy beds and LED lights. Coming to food, must tell it is unlimited. Night we had non-veg dishes which were chicken, eggs, omelets etc in the morning they served us akki roti neer dosa idli chutney etc with lemon rice coffee tea it was all unlimited so we came back to the room we had a dinner a little bit of dance as you're seeing it in the video we enjoyed the bonfire and went to sleep Day two at Kur. Let's start. In the morning, they served us akki roti, neer dosa, idli, chutney, etc. With lemon rice, coffee, tea. It was all unlimited. After breakfast we took a walk you can see other rooms as we are walking through we went down for the coffee plantation and the river which had a beautiful view हाँ दो दो मेरा ओके एना तो डिस्काउंट्स करते हैं हाँ डिस्काउंट करते हैं मेरा यार अगर नम साइड इन द बस रहे हाँ करते हो करते हैं मेरा करते हैं ओके मैं आई सर्चेज़ू हाँ सचिन मेरा ओके मैं सो मार्केटरी कोर गंदी तक्षण होमस्टे के अंदर है यस मेरा सो निविदन ना रेफर मारे दी स्पेशलिटी मेरे दस मेरा यसरे डि� हमें के एक्टिविटीज़ में नोटों फायर कैंप पे रोते रहें इधर ही रोते हमें ले नीर इधर बड़े इधर ओके सो फूड फूड बन रहे यार दो दो मेन्यू सूट करते रहने अरे साउथ इंडिया फूड करती मना अन्ना सांबर रसम चपाती पल्लिया ये करने यार डाइट हमें रोते ड्राई आइटम हो मतलब ग्रेवी रोते तो इधर ल Thank you, sir. Budget friendly, Agitha. Budget friendly, Agitha. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. It was too sunny. Don't forget to carry your sunscreen, girls. At the distance of one kilometer, Madikeri bus stand, Madikeri Fort is a historical fort suited in hearts of Madikeri town in Kur district. The preserving its old charm, Madikeri Fort is one of the most famous tourist attraction. Madikeri Fort was first built by Muthu Raja, uh, the king of Kur, in the last quarters of 17th century AD. There is no entry free to visit Madikeri Fort. Uh, the timings are 10 to 5.30 evening. It is closed on Mondays. After this, literally we were tired. We had a pure vegetarian lunch. You can see the caption below where I have mentioned the hotel too. After a good lunch, we headed towards Harangi Tree Park and Elephant Camp, which is located near to Harangi Dam backwaters. It is open by 9 to 10 a.m. in the morning, again in the evening 4 to 6.30 p.m. You have to walk around 5 meters towards 
Raja Seat. The place is called Raja Seat because it is a place where cool kings used to sit and visit with the scenery of Yuri around. The place has sunset view and sunrays view which makes a mesmerizing view with a worth capturing on your cameras. It is also one of the popular tourist spots. By the time of all these visits, it was already 5.30. We stopped here to pick up few spices for our home, which was a wholesale shop, Cool Spices Mall. On the way, our next stop was for coffee. The best cafe in Kushalnagar was Levista Coffee, best place to have a traditional cool coffee. Taste was amazing. They had a live crushing coffee beans, which was a great thing to look at. This is it, all two days at Kurg, ending my walk here. Do like, share, and subscribe for more content videos like this. Signing off. Bye bye.